Hi, Dr. William. I'm Dr. David. Hi. How can I help you today? Could I ask some questions? No problem. Why ulcerative colitis is associated with increased risk of hepatic venous thrombosis? Because ulcerative colitis has increased fibrinogen level and elevated plasma viscosity. Why this patient has been diagnosed with hepatic vein thrombosis? Because this patient has upper abdominal pain, vomiting, tender hepatomegaly, ascites, and ulcerative colitis. However, this patient takes oral contraceptive pill and also smokes. That's why this patient has been diagnosed with hepatic vein thrombosis. Dr. William, why there is no portal vein thrombosis in this ulcerative colitis patient? Because this patient has abnormal LFT and hepatomegaly, which is against the diagnosis of portal vein thrombosis. What are the other differential diagnoses apart from hepatic vein thrombosis? The differential diagnosis apart from hepatic vein thrombosis are carcinoma of the colon with hepatic metastasis, CAH, cirrhosis of the liver, and sclerosing cholangitis. What are the investigations in hepatic vein thrombosis for ulcerative colitis? The investigations are liver ultrasound, Doppler studies, liver biopsy, and venography. How many times carcinoma of the colon may occur in long-standing ulcerative colitis? It can be 10 times more than the general population. Why my patient has no hepatometastasis from colon cancer? It's unusual in your patient because your patient has well-controlled ul ulcerative colitis, no podrum of ill health, and no rectal bleeding. Why not chronic active hepatitis? Chronic active hepatitis is also recognized in an ulcerative colitis. But your patient has normal transaminase level, which is against the diagnosis. Why my patient has no sclerosing cholangitis? Because the alkaline phosphatase and bilirubin levels are not much high. And your patient has no prurites, no jaundice, and no hepatocellular failure. Go! Why ulcerative colitis is associated with thrombosis, cholangitis, and cholangiocarcinoma? But why gallstone and perianal abscess is less common in ulcerative colitis? Sorry, it's still unknown. Why hepatobiliary disease and ankylosing spondylitis is not relieved by protocolectomy? Sorry, it's still unknown. Thanks, Dr. William, for the information. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.